Welcome back, everyone, to Hearts of Iron 4, Old World Blues, in which we are playing still as Stoon, or really the Order of St. George. As a reminder, we have early access at the time of this recording to play as them, and uh, we're having a good old time. I guess, really, we're the Grand Duchy of Saskatchewan now, but we're beating up the Iron Confederacy, or doing our best so. Um, and as a reminder, the update for uh, this, uh, for the mod for everybody, will be on uh, February. 28th, 2024. I could not remember that for a second there. So for some reason. Purity? Um. Well. As much as I like this one, we're going to go with principle for this. For this one. Why not? Principle. Which means we need recon for our soldiers. Oh, we have more than enough army or individual armies for this guy. Standardized tools. Uh, New Vegas Delphal. Goodbye, New Vegas. Have fun under the Legion. We didn't know ya. But I hope you guys are having a pretty good day. And thank you once again to the dads for giving me early access. I do appreciate it. Contact lost. Oh boy. Um, but after this small little war, we're going to continue going on and having a good old time, taking out everybody else around us. Really thinking as more as we possibly can. We found the expedition, of course, as to be expected. In the meantime, um, we're going to slow the growth down here just so we can start editing those templates some more. And maybe start researching some more uh, stuff here, such as planes and uh, power armor. Because, my god, do we want better power armor? This power armor is not so bueno. Uh, no, we're good. We are still allied with the Kingdom of Manitoba, but if they die, they die. I'm okay with that. I was doing deep within the asylum. Oh. Oh, so we need to do this one. Complete the focus. Bay of the First. How to Win Friends and Influence People Part 1. In the matter of FEV. Also, you want to check out Old World Blues for yourself. Yeah, there'll be the first link in the description below. So. Cool. Um, other than that, let's see. Hmm. Matter of Provide m proper medical care to the Nightkin and the Birch Hills of Saints Hall. Remove Nightkin mental crisis. That'd be pretty good to do overall. Hmm. Manifest made good use of the Force evolutionary virus. Before the war, the Nightkin came looking for it. Though it's too dangerous to really just let anyone use it, the Nightkin have long since proven themselves as citizens of the Electorate. We'll grant them full respect and the treatment they need. So after this, I still want to take out the Menace Congress. These suckers need to be destroyed. Um, what do we got here? Economic expert? Probably not right now. We do want to expand what we have in terms of, uh, political power? Maybe not political power, but... Cores. We need more cores. Cores, cores, cores. Go and finish them up. You guys can actually stop doing that. I need to force it really grind for that army because we got all this done we still need this one but I'd rather work on this right now get another 25 and then start focusing on all that stuff right there uh, honest speaker resistance target goes down monthly population recruitable population factor is very good um, war support we don't really need more war support I do like the resistance target goes down which is very good knock or manpower but because I would say a slight bit of manpower but if you grow more manpower I think that'd be better overall If you want to start build, butting up a little bit of strength here, that's fine. That's too, oh, that's too much. Metal working, very nice. Very good. Um, keep working on all this industry stuff. Are we out of resources? No. Which is still quite very good. Fantastic. Go do that. And we can start with these guys. Special forces. Power armor. Yes. They have penalties on movement, huh? On hills and whatnot. There you go. Pretty good. Pretty good. Economic resurgence. Very nice. Very, very good. And uh, cutting back in cannibalism. Maybe you read this again. Please go right ahead. Yes. Very nice. Destroy them all. Have fun with it. Because if you're not, there's no point doing this. We must have fun with it. Uh, I like life. Just more recovery. It's always good. Power armor hardening. Stripped PA. Very nice. I love stripping. Hmm. We get 1.53 political power a day, which is not bad. And research speed, support units, water. We don't really need any more water. We need more manpower of anything, actually. Good. Because I know these guys are allies. The King of Manitoba wanted us to take these guys out, but that's alright. Whatever. Here, just go straight for the capital. It's fine. No, you have your own wars to fight. We have our own wars to fight. MacArthur's getting pretty thick, though. A thick MacArthur. Best stimulus, huh? Uh, military signing bonuses, that's not bad to do. That'd probably also be worth doing. Not a ton of manpower, but 
You know, eight plus eighteen is not bad. Oh, hello. Are they free fighters here? Yeah. What the heck, guys? Guys, come on. I love me some planes. Very good. Very nice. Very good. Up. Oh, 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 oh. Very nice. Good. 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 No free fighters. I don't give it. Who? Second coalition. Oh. Well, that's really not good for us then. Here. That's going to be a huge war on our border then. Oh, then you better hurry the heck up then. Secret sauce, if you want about this, please go ahead. That's pretty normal. And cutting back on cannibalism. Not here, my friends. Oh. St student freedom. Another successful afterlife broadcast. Put down the megalomaniac. Well, I do want to do this one in, in a different campaign, so I'll wait for that one, maybe. Or maybe just keep going. Hmm. We're going to promote livestock first. It's science. People love meat. But there are plenty of other ways to get flesh without it being from your fellow men and women. Absolutely. Looking pretty good. Almost becoming a winter specialist. Very nice. Letterman. Uh, I usually don't like doing this because it does hurt your organization by nine. That's quite a bit. More power armor. I mean, you could do it. It does increase your HP by 40, but doing this increases your HP by 45. Um, you get 13 more defense. You get 5 more defense. This one gives you 11 more soft attack. This gives you 6, about half. 9 breakthrough. Is it really worth doing, you know, PA demo teams? Is it really worth it? Let me know in the comments below. What do you, what do you like using? Do you like using PA demo teams? There you go. That's what I thought. If I could, actually, I'd probably use power support because I actually get more defense for this one, but, you know, we'll see. Nice, 99%. Ship stuff that we don't really use too much. Ooh, good some goods. We could use more stability, too. I am a sucker for that stability. Of course, we are just fighting on them, too, so... Yeah, these guys are taking forever to do. But we did get the winner specialist. It's very nice. Free fighters. Oh! Well, then they're gone. Well, they're still traveling, so technically I guess they're still there. Interesting. I don't think I've seen this one happen before. Strip power armor. Tlaloc's demise. Goodbye, Tlaloc. We didn't even know you. Uh, basically, I usually don't like that one, but we'll do it for now. That's fine. There you go. That should be enough. Thank you. Because now we get to fight these guys. Yay! I don't think we have enough divisions for the line, do we? Oh, we barely do. We barely have enough divisions for the line. We need more manpower as well. Um, sorry, doing that. That's fine too. Infantry armor is good. Very nice. We gotta start coring more stuff as, as well. But let's let's raise our conscription level first if we possibly can, um, and then. Yeah, 150. Promote livestock. Uh, the Duck Lake Massacre, which are our last time we've been about this. Please go ahead. Boom, boom, boom. And we'll talk about uh, Daniel's blessings. Sir Daniel Wadan. Wadan. Wadena. Wadenia has a simple message for those who would dare eat the flesh of men. Outsourcing consumer aid. Student hasn't always had a great industry. And with how large a treasury can be, it's nice to uh, allow a fool or two into our lands. Or uh, coffers in exchange for relieving our burdens. The Wanuskewan Heritage Park. Wanuskewan, or Cree, for living together in harmony, still bears many of the scars from the Great War. With the downfall of civilization, many thought little of caring for such a thing. The indigenous groups fled to what safe havens they could find, and so the only ones who would take up residence on the old grounds were the old blood of Stoon. 
In recent times, however, the indigenous peoples have returned. We shall renovate and rededicate the land to them once more as a sign of goodwill. The Blackheart Memorial Erected shortly after the Great War by Canadian survivors, the Blackheart Memorial consisted of a shoddily made series of statues made from American weapons and scraps of T-51D, uh, T-51 power armor today. It still stands as the grim reminder of how Canada has become a show of itself with those who still believe in the nature blaming the United States for centuries spanning struggles. This except Americanization. So we go to war with them. Do they attack us? Yes, they do. I like it. Once we lose, then I don't like it. Did you actually be able to win here? Uh, mo okay, along most of the line, yes. Just not here, which they're probably just fighting with one division, yeah. Makes sense why they're doing that. They're helping out. How much manpower do they have? Quite a few divisions. One to two thousand. Better than us. Unfortunate, I know, yes. Quite unfortunate. Do we have an airbase anywhere nearby? You could probably use one. Good. And Daniel's Blessing. I thought we were going to lose political power from that, but okay. Good. Nice. If we could just go through here, it would be great for a encirclement. Yes, you're learning. Yes. Oh, expert hills fighter. Yes. Lords of War would be bad, but expert hills fighter when you're always fighting in the hills and mountains, or these hills, it definitely helps out. Very good. Very nice. Even more defense and supply. Uh, well, I guess not. Less of a supply penalty. Good. How are you not doing well, Manitoba? I do not understand. Beautiful. Middlemark Grand Reopening. Well, Middlemark has always been open to the public. Their store zero location in Calgary has just sent out signals discussing a Grand Reopening, urging customers and curious prospecting sorts alike to go and take a look at the vast array of discounted luxuries and must-have items. The signal, of course, also urges customers to not feel intimidated by the raiders employed there, saying their bite has been entirely removed. The signal was promptly followed by an apology regarding the sort of a customer who claimed to be a warden of the white. Wow, I can't wait to go. That's cool. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Sure, why not? That's level six is very good. Oh, actually, the infantry is doing very well as well. So, I'm a little surprised that we're doing so well, but I'll take it. At this point, you're just a solid front line. Bro, I'm not sharing my spoils with you. How strong are they? Forty divisions. A saint's judgment. The cannibals of Stoon grew to fear the shining armor of the knights of Yorkton. The verdict was made clear, as it could be when Sir Daniel Wadena beheaded a uh, self-professed cannibal philosopher um, within the square. When the onlookers stared in silence, some still covered in the man's blood, Daniel merely retorted as such, Would anyone else like to educate me on their diet? Needless to say, the rivers ran far less red not long after, and God we trust. Ooh, 250 political power, that's a lot. Very nice. Boomtown. Once a working exhibit of a settlement, period. Boomtown became residence for certain elements of the wildlife population years ago. Clearing y'all gave her Jan some more guests or gusto to work with, and besides, looks super cool. Grandoran Builders. Grandora has historically been a site for the survivors to thrive in. Years upon years of ombravar attacks uh, and other horrors gave them strength unmatched by anyone outside of the tribals. Let's see if they'll give us a hand. And here we're at. We've read quite a few things, or done quite a few focuses off screen. Allow Samoset to dig. A man named Samoset has come from the Iron Confederacy after hearing of a renewed interest in the Heritage Park. He states that many of his ancestors' relics still dot the land that he'd likely pay for us uh, for the ability to dig in each of them. Who are we to deny him? Stories of the Canadian occupation. 
The American occupation Canada destroyed much. The story is still haunting children. The bombs fell, we never all grew it. Maybe that'll change with enough care. A country twice shamed, even in our own streets. You see people carrying the stars and stripes in favor of this maple leaf. Why? Because we are in a land that was destroyed twice. The Americans came and forced their choking patriotism down our throats, and so we were made to bend the knee. Once broad Canadians were forced to get, forget what came before and make space in the hearts for presidents and Benjamins. Even the bombs couldn't wipe that shame away, and now a culture of resentment festers in Saskatchewan. People hate the land, and they hate its people. I think the cannibals might just be a part of that. American poison? Well, how about the dandies? Some of the people within student self, the self-appointed elite, fashioned themselves a particular sort. They adapted the ways of the tribals, finding them cute enough to try, and feasting upon their fellow men with glee. This vanity, this greed, this pride was drowning in the city, and yet the dandies kept it going. It would be decades before anything else would change for the people of Stoon. Um, the long night. When the cannibals came to Stoon, so did they with gnashing teeth and slashing claws. People were plucked out of their homes overnight, and their bones were returning cruel pranks. Such horrors would never go wholly away. As we are trying to get more of all of this stuff here, I'm going to grab some of this too. Um, we are justified on the Sisters of Steel. We'll see what happens with them. Anything else here? We need more guns, of course. Actually, we were running out of quite a few guns overall. But, I do want to quarter Grace Stable if possible as well, which is very, very important for us. Um, we have one route there. Another route, yes. Cool. Very nice. So, we record that, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. And we have until the 31st of October to do go to war with them, so memories of Manifest. Uh, but let's first get these guys out. Boom, 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 boom. Good. You go there. You. Oh. Manifest came and went before the war. A technological giant is desperate to suckle from the teeth of American Department of Defense funding. Relics of the facilities, and few are far between his tomb, but within the electors, their presence is that of a ghost. Still active cameras, hopes, ma machinations, or robots of Pleasantdale, and... It never seemed to end. The dandies, of course, and the American poison. The Americans did not leave with nuclear fire. The remaining militants became raiders, sapping what little there was to go around. The starstruck vagabonds continued for years until the tribals ate them out of their out of heart and home. Now their poisonous routes litter the city. Ah, good power armor. My god, we're gonna need you. Uh, let's go and throw you right here, which would be great. We are building up some more forts because, well, we're definitely gonna need forts because these guys are actually very, 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 very strong. Almost there, October 30th. It's fine. Let's go and save real quick. So our guys are now 20 combat width. Infantry are, at least. And they're looking decent. That's want some recon on these guys, because they already have some recon. Letterman, 20 combat width, not bad. Support power armor. It's alright. Wait until the 30th, it's done. And there we go. Pulse code modifications, very nice. We're done with all this stuff here for now. We're gonna grab some of this too and go to war with these guys because we can. Can you do this, maybe? Oh, you know what? Gosh darn it. I should have realized. I didn't do that. So now they start attacking us. I want to see if we can do this by ourselves, because there's a lot of red, and that's not ideal. But, happy new month. As we do have some caffeinated beverage to keep us nice and satiated. For now. Well, we're winning in some areas, which is good. Not all areas, which is not good. Some areas we're doing fine, some areas we need to do better. What is the air like? Well, we're doing some damage, which is good. Not enough damage, of course. The center's not doing well, the edges are doing fine. But the center is just, hmm, questionable. Losses. Dr. Toboggan's been wounded and bringing the battle to a successful conclusion. It seems Dr. Toboggan put himself at a bit too much of a risk while leading his men. He has been wounded, and it would luckily take some time for the wounds to fully heal, until which time uh, he will not be able to perform at his usual level. Oh, look at that. Roommaters, of course. Uh, how are we doing with this? We can even create an agency. That's not a good idea. You are not allowed to lose, so. You don't necessarily have to win, but you just can't lose. What do we got here? Oh, a pragmatic uh, decisive engagement, yes. Um, we did got the both of these, which is good. Maybe we can have more organization too, that's nice. Make sure our secretary's good. It's gonna be a very costly war for all of us here. Uh, melee hacker, lightweight, overtouch. Max planner probably. 332. We are losing quite a few guys. That's not good. 
Yeah, we might have to take it some more time here because they're just beating the crap out of us and we can't do anything. Even with intel advantage, even with air superiority. They're doing very, very well against us, which is very surprising to me. Very, very surprising to me. Wow, we're doing even 58 damage. Wow, we are really not doing well here at all, are we? That makes no sense to me. So, in the meantime, we've got the dandies going along. We've got that. As much as I want to cooperate with the General Freedom, mm, put down the Megalomaniac. General Freedom is dangerous. Not only does he encourage the unwashed masses to sympathize with the Nightkin, but he very clearly has a pendant for violence. He must be put down or cooperate with him. General Freedom is a threat, yes, but a threat can be dis dissuaged. From good old-fashioned diplomacy, we'll collaborate with the General Freedom within reason. After all, he's just a mutant. The likelihood of him being a threat beyond that is minuscule. And that's, of course, civilization. Amidst all terror, civilization came and went through soon again and again. The people's front of Canada, the Canadian people's front, the Kingdom of Manitoba, but this was not a civilized land. The tribes did not welcome such things. Only recently had things begun to change, but the old blood of Stu never welcomed a despot, and if they had their way, they never would. Clean water, clean ideals. It's often been said that those who control the water control the hearts and minds of the people, after all. It's the foundation of any human existence. Let us bring the people water, and when they've had a taste, they'll accept no other authority. Open trade relations. In the years prior to Pierre's ascension, the trade between the elector outside of Dundurn Given hands to his neighbors have been minuscule. It shall change, and with it, old deals shall become new once again. And... And best in fairyland. Fairy kind. The fairies of Pleasant Dale are a weapon that can be used to great effect. The ethics may be beyond questionable, but who are we to judge and shut down the fairy program? Oh. Oh, Barkface joins the Grand Duchy. The fairies of Pleasant Dale are not weapons to be used in wars. They have nothing to do with. They're children, and this inhumane program must end at once. And just like any normal campaign, we've taken quite a while off screen to do with this. Oh, those other people lost 4,000. We've killed off about 30-some thousand, probably. We're doing a full frontal assault. We've got their ciphers broken as well, or the, you know, cryptology we've discovered. Um, we don't have, still don't have nearly as many divisions as the enemy does. But we're doing all right right now. And to capitulate them, we need to capitulate every single one of them. So, if we can take out the Sisters of Steel first, that'd be fantastic. As you can see, it's pretty gosh darn bloody. It's pretty hard to do. And, uh, yeah, maybe we should not have gone to war with them. But you want a crown? If you want to read about this, please go ahead. But... We're on four-year conscription. We're going to need to do service until dismissal because, my God, do we need that manpower, do we? So, other than that, that's pretty much what we've been doing this entire time. Um, just kind of beating the crap out of our enemies as much as possible. Occupied territories, just stone riders, which is good. We're going to go in and mobilize more men. Service until dismissal. Absolutely. Uh, can you guys do this, maybe, and just, like, hurry the heck up? The faster you win here, the faster we can win everywhere else. Uh, so... Yeah, do that. There you go. Do that. There you go. And you guys need to move out that way too. So overall, not too bad. Uh, we're winning everywhere. No, we're winning in a lot of locations. We got a lot of stuff, a lot of air XP, and I forgot we even had like doctrines we can choose too. So our officer corps. Look over here. Rats, self-sufficient pilots, caps, uh, air accidents, costs, technology. Uh, caps, expenses, air technology, craft costs. I'll go with that one. Veteran instructors, ground support, ground attack. I should have realized we'd go to that one earlier. Air superiority, max speed. I want more ground support. Just straight up more ground support, man. So we've done well so far. We've got to keep, keep up the momentum. Because we can go here, we can destroy those divisions too. So Hopefully we can. 80, 81. Looks like we should be able to. Um, well, I mean, if they're not here and they're not moving in, gives us a chance to continue destroying them. Of course, now we're very thinly spread out, which is not ideal. But if you can help out, that'd be great. Very, very thinly spread out. But yeah, destroying the Sisters of Steel first would be the best. Very good, very good. Like it new. We're completely out of manpower. Well, else is to be expected, of course. You find them, just beat them up. And we're going to go grab some more war sport first, because war sport's a little more difficult to get by right now. Now, now at this point in the campaign, we're just researching new ships and whatnot. Uh, we're out of you guys. Oh, look, the Sisters of Steel are gone. Mm. We do inspirational. How many can we throw on there? Four? No, I don't think we're going to get that many more Spec Ops uh, units. So, that's okay for now. Some more planes. 
Planes, I love planes. It's gonna be a little hard to get over there. Nice, very nice. Our plane bombers are okay, not great, not something that we really want to use right now, but whatever. Cool. And we can defeat the Ruminators too, that'd be awesome. Really one of our main goals. Because every single one of these is a major power, unfortunately. But with the biggest threat dealt with, we should be okay. Should be okay. We always have enough manpower. Or not manpower, but political power. Another tiny bonuses. Yes, please. Yes, please. Nice logistics. Can't even really use them. But whatever. Divisions of struggle destroyed. Oh, and we're not even doing anything for our focuses, so. Um, anything else we could really do here? No, we've pretty much done them all. And let's beat up this last nation. Ah, they go the Ruminators, too. I guess we're fighting the Martial Republic as well, which is fine with us, you know. It is what it is. We're slowly spreading out, just destroying them left and right. We've lost 6,000, which is pretty good overall versus 55,000, so I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. It just takes forever sometimes trying to fight through all here, but this is, uh... Now, the devs have done a fantastic job still with this, uh, update. 5.0, very excited for it. Now, there might be a few bugs, like I said before, but overall, I've had literally no issues with bugs. I think. I think. I'm pretty sure. Could be wrong. But the devs have done fantastic. I love what they have done here. They've got some very, very awesome things coming up, and I'm pretty sure I could say this, but, like, there are things that we cannot observe with early access that uh, the devs have been planned, have planned for everyone to find later on, so those little things that, or maybe not little things, maybe some big nations, maybe some small nations, um, I'm very excited to see, or at least bring on the channel once we're allowed to, which is fantastic. Always leave a trick up your sleeve. The devs absolutely have done that. And there goes the Marshall Republic. Uh, that sucks. And we have them, my friends. That just took forever off screen, no wonder. Oof. Score 38, that's fine. No, you don't need anything there. Sure, we'll take them, why not? Oh, come on. There you go. Well. I have a feeling we've taken a little more of the Saskatchewan, not gonna lie. So we've got Unknown Border, Central Montana, The Stretch, West Dakota as well. Truth be told, I think this makes up for all uh, the Americans invading us. Um, just because, well, they should not have invaded us and whatnot. But, I think I'll it there. It's been a very successful first campaign for us looking into the uh, 5.0 update. Ashes to Embers for Old World Blues. Once again, thank you to the devs for giving me early access to all this to uh, show all case what's going on. And I hope you have thoroughly enjoyed the campaign. If you have uh, enjoyed the campaign, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, as we'll see what other nation we can play as. And have a lot of fun too, too. Thanks for watching, have a fantastic rest of your day.